What's going on guys, Phil here with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube and... Junior. We got Junior here. And so today we're gonna go over some of the top truck trends from 2019 that should not have made it to 2020. And if you are like still doing some of these things or have some of these things on your truck, we're not trying to offend anybody. We're just trying to kind of give you some like rational reasoning behind why they should have stayed in 2019. And maybe you should change up your build for 2020. Yeah, because there's obviously tons of different modifications and things you can do to your vehicle, but as the years go on, style choices change, preferences change, fads come in, fads go out. So the first thing we're gonna kick it off with is light bars. Mm. Now, are light bars a bad thing? No. No, like no. they serve a purpose, like they actually help. Like not gonna lie, if you're driving down country roads and you're like, man, I just wish I had some extra light. But do you need uh, two stacked 50 inches on the roof, three yeah. behind your grill, one See, in your bumper, and a bunch of cubes? That you probably don't need. And that's where we're coming from when we talk about the light bars because uh, last year, it actually, I think it actually started to die off a little yeah. bit, but it, it's still out there. The guys that are running the double stack 50s on top of the windshield, you got these big giant bricks of light bars on top that just kind of isn't going with the whole clean look that most people are going for in 2020 and moving forward uh, with the show builds that we're seeing. A lot more people still running like behind the grill light bars or putting them in the bumpers yep. that's an easy way to make it look clean but the roof mounted light bars probably shouldn't make it to 2020. And a lot of people do theme builds and some people someone's gonna have like an overlanding build with a giant like roof basket and they'd be like well, what about mine and like sure that's fine if that's the style and the look you're going for but a lot of dudes are running these and they probably don't flip that switch more than once a year, you know, and they don't use the. Well, you gotta turn bars. it on for the photo shoot. Oh, absolutely, yeah. but that's about it. And then at the same time, we're actually seeing a lot of people move towards the large round, uh, like off-road lights that, oh, like, yeah. I've seen people do yeah. a couple like Baja style things, but the actual straight or curved light bars that are mounted on the roofs that were ever so popular uh, just a couple years back those have slowly started to die and I don't think we're gonna see it at the end of this year. Correct. Well, we're still on the topic of lights, we're gonna talk about halos. Halos in your light bars. Halos in your light, light bars. bars in your halos. Halos in your <laughs> fog lights. Halos in your headlights. Halos in the cubes that you put into your headlights. Halos on all of the things. I've even seen halos in mirror lights. Really? Mm-hmm. It's Yikes. just too much. I think, again, this has to do with people moving towards a simpler, more clean build uh, and just not running all those RGB colored halos. Yeah, and in my opinion, I've always liked demonized because like it looks like it's part of the projector, part of the headlight. It doesn't have this big, crazy, like bright halo that just kind of sticks out compared to everything else. It, it, a demon eye just kind of hides back there versus like having halos, which like if you have halos for your halos, you just they're, they're everywhere. And I don't know, Johnny Huey was big in 2012 for a reason. Exactly. Before we jump into the next one, I want to explain that XD does make some very nice looking wheels. However, the Rockstar, Rockstar 3, I don't and know. And one. I don't know that we need them anymore. Now, they definitely pioneered a new wave of wheels by making wheels that had removable pieces. So you could paint it to match the body color of your truck or make it an accent color and do whatever you want with it to easily customize your wheels. But it's been the same style now since. 1923. Yeah, I, th I think there's a reason that they haven't come out with a new one in the last two or three years, I think it is now. Yep. And like, they, they don't have the traction anymore, but if you're, if you're running them, great. However, there are other options out there as well that kind of fit today's truck scene versus the truck scene a couple years ago. And like the, the XD844 Pike, brand new wheel from those guys, looks awesome. Available in this like brushed titanium finish and a red finish, which is super cool. They've got the uh, eight, was it 820 grenade. Yep. Like that's been really popular for a whole bunch of years. Banker has those. It has a nice huge lip on it. If you know, if you get it in the 20 by 12 sizes, they have got options out there. The XD brand makes great wheels. We're just saying, the rock star name. It's been played out. Might need to go away. And yeah, the other crazy thing that XD is doing, so like they like pioneered the way, right? With these new wheels, these bigger diameters, all of this stuff. And like, look at the Archon wheels, for example, like the Crown series took a lot of like styling cues almost from like the XD's twos and threes that had their movable like mm -hmm. spoke faces or their movable like spokes themselves. And Archon's got their movable Ks and the logos and their movable ring and stuff like that. And like a lot of companies I think are getting towards that. So. There are options out there if you want to still do those customizable things, but maybe not necessarily pick a style that is more up to date than That prior. looks like it's not from 2003. Yeah. The next one too, jumping into suspension, I think makes some people upset, but you've heard us say it before that we're not huge fans of body lifts. And especially with uh, the new trucks that are coming out, it's just, you know, when you spend 70, $80,000 on a pickup truck, I don't know that you should buy a $200 hockey puck and use it to lift the body of your truck because you're really not benefiting other than 
Sure, you can put larger wheels and tires on there, but they all the suspension clearance and stuff. Pretty decent wheels and tires. And even if you have an older truck, I I still wouldn't recommend it personally to get a body lift. I I wouldn't run one just because. I just don't like the way that it looks. Yeah. You know, the some people will argue a safety standpoint. Some people will argue an installation standpoint. It can be more difficult. You can stretch out cables and wiring and all that kind of stuff. And in the modern trucks, there's obviously so much more wiring than there ever used to yeah. be, which just makes it even more difficult. But at the end of the day, I just don't like seeing a big gap in your frame and you're taking yeah. your body of your truck and lifting it off the frame and now supporting it with a couple plastic pieces. Are we still going to have them for sale for the diehard people that really want that body lift? Yes. Is it an option for you if you already have a six inch suspension lift and you want to add three inches more without adding more suspension because you already paid for the lift? Sure. But when it comes down to it, I'd rather see you buy a three inch suspension lift than a three inch body lift any day of the week. Yep. And no, you can't stack a three inch suspension lift on top of a six inch suspension lift. <laughs> it's, it, mm -mm, it doesn't go like that. Squat. Keep it in 2019. Jared can say that because his Bronco is squatted and everybody wants to know how much it's squatted, but he says only two inches, but because of the short it's wheelbase, it looks like you've got four plus inches of squat. It's okay because I'm putting airbags in there. Like the, there's no functionality to squat. The only reason I did it was just to make people mad, but I'm putting airbags in so I can well, drive you did it level. That. I'd made everybody mad and now I'm making it level, but then I can also air it out when I want to, but there's no point to squat. There's no reason for it. It doesn't make your truck look more aggressive. It doesn't do anything other than make people mad. Which if that's your goal, <laughs> more power to you. If you're trying to be cool on the internet and you, you want the Instagram clout, then uh, you go ahead and do that. There's also like, like don't get, if you're going to squat it, go two inches like I did. Don't have it so you're, wheel your rear wheel well is sitting this far above your tire like that I, I i can't get behind it i don't understand i can't so circling back all the way to lighting then we do have one more thing to talk about there and that's the the 10k and the 12k oh, hids man. You know, new modern trucks come with these LED headlights that look very, very nice. They're super white, super bright. But if your truck doesn't have those and you want to upgrade your stock halogen housings, that doesn't mean that you should put in a 10K HID. And guess what? All those trucks you see that have like the bright white lights, they're not 8K, they're not 10K, they're not 12K. They're like 6,500K. Six. Yeah. Five to 6,500K is what they are. So like putting blue or purple headlights in is not going to help you make your truck look newer or cooler. And we're going into 2020 with more education now because we know that uh, the 10K has nothing to do with the brightness. It's all about color temperature. So yeah. 10K headlights are not any more bright than 5K headlights. It just has to do with the color temperature. You want to pay attention to like wattage and things like that and how the conversion works from LED to standard headlights and HID headlights and there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it. But if you want to learn more about that, you can check out a, probably a headlight channel. We are <laughs> wheel tire us. and suspension guys and that's where you can find at customoffsets.com. Peace. Damn, that was smooth. <laughs>